Hello, it's me again. I haven't been out for a while. I've been kind of sick. I even got my website shut down so I can take it easy for a bit. Oh. And while I was away, I didn't bore you with the tedium of uh, wiring this in front of the camera. I just wired it up and I'm going to give you the rundown of how it goes and save you a little bit of your important time. This here is single phase 220 coming in. L1, L2, and ground. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still still a little under the weather. Uh, the 220 goes into the circuit breaker, down into the fuses, back up to the contactor, and in, into the noise filter. Then it goes into the VFD. Uh, contactor is powered on 24 volts DC by the power supply right here. And right now I just have the terminals bridge so that when you plug it in it thinks the switch is on there's no switch on it I did that for the checks before I put it into the case and so the first thing I do when I when I when I check one of these is I don't have I don't have uh, the powers and grounds going to the logic board I uh, take those loose and then and, and power power up the, two, the 220 and the, and the 24 volt make sure that the contactor and VFD come up as well as the main 48 volt power supply for the stepper motors and after after the 220 goes to the VFD it comes out here as three phase 220 two for a 2.2 kW spindle motor and goes out here the shielded wire is for the common ground the limit and the home switches moving along we come over here and we see that the board that I used is a nice late model USB board this thing came in on a board using a uh, line printer as the output for the PC we have the common ground all these are positive switched for step and direction for X Y and Z and down here is the 24 volt power uh, common ground home and limit switches and the, and the switch for the e-stop let me pick this thing up and get this left I have here out of the way Oops. sorry about that that's a little hard on the old mouse and as we come along I have the individual drivers which I recommend using individual drivers instead of that that crazy crap where you have all three or all four on one board and uh, that way if one fails you don't have a big mess on your hands you just change the offending stepper drive and I have one stepper motor that is my own this is for one of my power feeds so I can tie in here because I don't have the, these wired yet and even if I did, I wouldn't be able to use them because the, the uh, stepper motor that he sent already has a plug for the case on it. And I'm not taking it off. So it'll, it'll get tested with that once it's together. But I do want to test it before I put this in the case. And as we go on, we have the other terminal strip. This is uh, 220 for the 48 volt. This is these two are where I put a, a, a double pole double throw switch on the front panel, so I don't have 220 main main all, all over the place. Here's my e stop switch outputs, actually inputs, and that's pretty much this. It's a pretty simple build. The only thing I'm I'm gonna do now is for the first time I'm gonna install Mach 3 on the PC that's over here, and. Uh, set it up for you for USB operation and then set it up for running the uh, RS485 uh, port for speed speed control and controlling of the VFD so it goes through a second USB port and I hope that clears it up for you a little bit <laughs> yeah it's pretty easy and uh, I'm gonna be building and building another setup soon and I'm going to do it portable. Uh, the reason this wound up on these two pieces is six six inch uh, 
6061 alum aluminum pieces is, is what I had on hand and, and the box he sent was kind of really unsuitable for what I needed. So I'm using these to plug all the vent holes it had. I'm going to put weather, weather stripping in behind it and weather stripping on the floor and another, another couple of pieces of uh, six inch aluminum and seal that up so that, so that the flow goes across. The fan is over here on the side and I want the flow to cross everything. I want to hit the VFD first. And, uh, and I do want to, I want the gentleman to put a second fan in because he has two, two fan spots on that case. So I, li I like to keep everything flowing over these, keep, keep things cool. Cool is good, hot is bad. And uh, that's about it for this one. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And this is how it's done. These uh, red and black here are the, are the 20, 24 volt lines coming off of the 24 volt power supply and those go up to trip the contactor on a, tw on a 24 volt DC coil. Uh, the low voltage checks did good. I got, tw I got 24 and 48 and the, the, the contactor comes up and the VFD powers up. Everything is as it should be and also the stepper motor because this thing is not moving is in the lock position or braking. And the old machine that everything came out of was not. <coughs> so I think we're halfway there. I have Mickey Mouse something because I don't have 220 in this bedroom. I haven't seen a bedroom in a house that has 220 yet unless maybe you live in China. So I used the uh, extension cord into a 30 amp into a pair of 30 amp breakers I had to buy. And I wasn't willing to shut down the whole house to put in the ground wire because it run it runs it runs next to the power in that in that breaker box. So I pulled the ground off a local wall socket. And since I'm not running any heavy amps on this thing, it's just just to check. I uh, powered it up using 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 a uh, adapter that I made for for a common uh, 115 volt cord. Don't do this yourself at home unless you unless you live all by yourself or everybody in the house is instructed not to use the plug that's coming out of the the breaker box. Otherwise, you might have fireworks going on in your garage. Uh, yeah, it's not the preferred way. I'd have preferred to do this in the garage, but this is Oklahoma and it's summer, and I'm sick already. I'm not gonna not gonna make things worse by spending time out in a hot garage. And hope hope you learned a little bit. Also, I have my common ground here because it, because I need yeah to tap off on for more than one thing. I uh, bridged two of these together so they're in groups of two and still I wanted to have a common ground on the chassis so you don't touch it and get a jolt by accident. Forgot to mention that. But safety first people, don't do as I do, do as I say. I've been playing with this stuff since I was a child. My father was an electrical engineer. <laughs>